I was like, girl, what, what? She's given, she's given like an opportunity. She's given like, okay, you might just work out in my favor. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, everybody? What's up? It's your girl, April. I hope you guys are all having like a really great day, an amazing day. It is a little chilly out, so that's why I got my little thrift store. Listen, let's talk about this sweater. This is a thrift store find, brand new, and it was by a store called Kmart. Remember the brand Basic Editions at Kmart? I don't even know if there's a lot of Kmarts left anymore. I know there isn't out here. I used to really like Kmart growing up. Being a young adult, going there, buying Christmas toys, clothes, you know, you put them on layaway. So this is actually from Kmart and it was brand new at Savers. This is like vintage because Kmart isn't around anymore. So this is like a vintage type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. But anyway, let's get into this video. You guys already know I've worked with this company like so many times. I haven't worked with them in like probably like the past year. Um, West Kiss Hair. So they did... Um, send me out one of their newer units which is the kinky curly edges so y'all already know that's like a big trend now the thicker edges the 4c kinky edges which will give you like a more natural look now trust me when i tell you i only seen this on like kinky straight hair i have never seen it on you know curly type hair so when i got the wig i was kind of like baffled and kind of like taken aback like girl we got like two different textures going on here, like two different hair textures going on here on this one wig, girl. I'm not really sure how it's going to work. And you know, when you get a wig, when you first get a wig, sometimes they don't look like they look on the website. Like they're not about to style the wig for you and then send it off. You're going to get it as it is and girl, you can style it because nine times out of 10, the way it was styled on the website is probably some picture of a girl who styled that same hairstyle. So yeah, they're not sending it out like that. So when I did get it, I was like, girl, what, what? So I took the wheel, I bleached it, I didn't even pre-pluck it because, girl, it got like these little curly edge baby hair things. Now, trust me when I tell you, when you wash the hair, the, 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 the baby hairs, the thickness, the edge thing, it don't look the same no more. Thank God. Because had it looked the same, honey, it would have been pre-plucked, okay? Pre-plucked and tucked, okay? Let me just tell you. But it, it comes out much nicer, which I do think they could have at least sent it washed. So that way you don't scare the customer away when they first get it. But okay. So when I washed it, this is what it came out with. And it looks a whole lot better, like in my eyes. She looks, she look, she's given. She's given like an opportunity. She's given like, okay, you might just work out in my favor. That's This is what she's giving me. So her curl pattern is way better than what it looked like when I first got it. Like straight up, much better than when I first got it. So we just going to get into this. I do know that I'm going to have to sew on an elastic band. Their wigs definitely always need an elastic band because it's so much space or like just so much extra on the side. So let me do that and then we're going to go straight into this video. I long for that feeling
right, all right, you guys. Look at this hairline. Like, look at these curls. This kinky, curly edges is really, really nice. Y'all will see at the end, girl. Now, honestly, I'm telling you guys, when I first got this wig, I was like, oh, hex to the no. This hair texture is not the same as the rest of the unit. But, girl, once you wash it, it gives you a whole different look. So I decided to put a little bit of my makeup in the lace just to give it a more natural color, something that I look a little bit more closer to my skin color. You know, sometimes we gotta do that to the lace, but honey, when I tell you that the lace is really good, the edges is really good, like girl, this wig actually came out super nice. Now in one area, I did over bleach it, which was where you see a part of that. And girl, I got an easy fix for that, honey, okay? But I've worked with West Kiss for numerous of times, and I will be honest and say they have definitely improved, girl. Now, you know all wigs have improved over time, and let's just be thankful for that. They have us looking like we really growing this hair from our scalp. Now, that area right there where you see the little extra bleach spot, it just seeped on some of the hair. The lace is not destroyed. It's just that it, it may look like that on camera, but in person, it doesn't look that bad. Now, this part, y'all already know. These wigs sometimes be a little bit too big, be overlapping our ears like so. So I just part it right directly over my ear and then I just cut that extra lace off. Cause girl, I need to hear. I can't be hiding my ear. And plus this will definitely make your wig fit more comfortably. It'll make it look more natural. Like girl, definitely. Now with West Kiss, their wigs always tend to do this on the sides and that's okay. I'd rather be a little bit too roomy versus a little bit too small you know because i got like a long head and you're definitely going to repeat that on the opposite side and then girl cut your lace honey trust me when i tell you cutting that extra piece of hair off is not going to destroy your lace now what i'm going to go ahead and do is use my favorite hairspray which is aussie instant freeze you can spray two to three layers of your favorite hairspray onto your hairline or below your hairline, okay? Now what I do is I allow the first layer to get a little bit tacky prior to spraying the second layer. And once I've sprayed that second layer, layer, I also allow it to get tacky. And then if I decide to spray a third layer, I will then spray the third layer. But normally two layers is good enough for me and I'll let that second layer get a little bit tacky. And then that's when I'll just press that lace in, baby. Now, if you don't let it get tacky, it's going to go on wet. And eventually it will dry. It dries super quick. Um, there are some parts where I just do spray it on wet if I have missed a spot. And it'll dry super fast. I like this hairspray because it's affordable. And I've been using this hairspray for, for years, girl. Like, when I tell you years, probably 10 years now. It's probably like $3, $4 at Walmart, Target. You can even get yourself some cans off of Amazon. This is the hairspray that I prefer over anything else. And yes, I have tried other hairsprays because of reviews or what have you, but you know what? I go back to the Aussie. Now this part right here is where I just went ahead and pressed down with my comb, just pressing that lace into the tacky hairspray. Now y'all see them little baby hairs, some edges, like I really am digging these edges. And the cool thing about this unit, I didn't even have to like tweeze any of it. All I did was those, all I did with those extra hairs is I just brushed them right up into the hairstyle. You know, I didn't cut any of them off. I just brushed them right into the hairstyle. Now that part right there where you see me spray that hairspray is just because I, you know, missed a part, missed a section. And all I did was just spray it right on and it'll, it'll dry. It definitely dries really quick. It doesn't leave any type of white residue. I really do like this one. I prefer to get it in the aerosol can. You can also get it in the pump spray, but for me, I like the aerosol can better, but you know, to each his own, whichever you prefer, but they both work really, really well. So check out Instant Aussie or Aussie Instant Freeze. And now all I'm gonna do is just situate, I'm just trying to situate this hair, these little hairs and so forth. And y'all already know me. I like me some sideburn hairs. Well, look at that. That came out really, really nice. They did an awesome job. I wish it would have came bleached, but you know what? Hey, I got this. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to be using, I think it's called Wella. I think the brand is Wella. I'm going to be using this. You don't have to mix it with anything. You just put, or is it Clairol? Might be Clairol. I'll definitely link it down below. But um, I think it's like 4 or $5. You don't have to mix.
mix this product it just comes in the bottle you could just use it straight out the bottle so I've been using it sparingly whenever I need to I just use it with a little mascara wand and I try to go over the strands with the mascara brush use whatever is good for you you can use a cotton squat cotton swab just so that way it doesn't get on the lace but normally I will be honest and tell you it's best to do that when the wig is not on you so that way you have better leverage you can see a lot better so definitely you want to do this after or prior to putting the wig on it just makes a world of difference now this part is just you know the normal i'm just going to style this using my favorite new you know styling phone which is uh mark anthony you can get this from amazon i've also seen this at walgreens and stuff i can't say i've seen all the mark anthony products but i've seen enough of them now i'm not going to be giving myself any baby hairs so if you think that i'm giving baby hairs right here i'm definitely not these are going to be, you know, little curly edges um, once I'm finished. But I do like to use the mousse to smooth down the sides. This mousse is amazing. They state that it's for curly hair. But girl, for $10 damn dollars, I'm going to use it for any hair. Okay? But it, it works really well in all hairs. I like it because the foam does not, you know, run. It doesn't get liquidy after like a, a few seconds, watery. It stays foam for quite some time. So I really do like the Mark Anthony. Anthony styling foam and like I said you can use it for anything and now look at those edges you don't see the lace which is great and I do apologize for the color changing uh, as you might have noticed it has a lot to do with the settings but also that's the one reason why I don't like to wear a lot of colorful shirts because it will reflect on your camera settings and I'm just gonna put this elastic band on girl so I can just style the hair now see this is me just combing and brushing up those extra edges you don't have to cut them off you don't have to do anything at all but just brush them right up they've done the hairline so well that you don't have to cut anything and I decided to use this side to part it on I believe that's my right side I decided to part it on the right side due to you know the little um, part where the bleach seep through but like I stated that uh, hair dye is amazing I use it all the time whenever I do have a mistake it covers it up real well you wouldn't even know and I'm just going to tame the part create the part with that mousse and also I'm just going to give the front a little bit of lift but for the most part I'm really impressed I was really apprehensive about this unit but girl look she came out cute all right and you just want to pick those um, hairs up you don't want them to stick down because they're curly edges boo let me know what y'all think in the comments section below girl but the curl pattern is beautiful and so is the curly edges All right, you guys, so listen, this actually came out really cute. I was kind of like on the fence about the different texture here, but the little curly, kinky, curly edge hair just remind me of like a shorter version of baby hairs. More curly, more natural, like thicker. Like, I like it. Like, I do like it. It came out cute. It did take me a minute though to, you know, adhere it because of the way it fit. I'm gonna just be honest and just say this, and I, I think I said this probably like a few times before. I'm not really a big fan of where West Kiss Hair places their combs at inside of the unit they they're not in the right position they're not in the right spot and they're going kind of like in the opposite direction the wrong direction so i never really use their combs because they're just not in the right spot like they're all the way up here and they're like going downward so they the combs are not giving me combs they're just giving me i don't want to be here today now, the one thing about their curly wig edges here it doesn't go all the way to the whole front perimeter it kind of like stops like over here which ain't no big problem because girl listen i like my little sideburn here so that might be the reason why it kind of like stops over here but i'm just saying like this is giving me real like curly hair edges vibes like i like it the, the hair that i didn't use i just brushed it up into the wig and the cool thing about this one here is i didn't even pluck anything i did not pluck it i did not do nothing to over bleach it okay that's all i did like i did over bleach one spot right here that's why I reparted it. But girl, when I tell y'all I didn't have to pluck anything, that's what I'm liking. Like, I think like when they do like the curly edges, it kind of like helps with the whole not plucking process. Like for real, girl, listen, this wig came out cute. Now, granted, let me just tell y'all, this is a lot of damn hair, girl. 
this is a lot of hair i mean i'm not complaining but the density on this wig is there baby like it's giving you it's giving you hair like you know how you order some wigs and they'd be like 150 percent density or you you want to order you have to order like 200 just so it could be like 150 this is definitely giving you the volume okay the density all right that you need girl like you are going to get it all from this wig right here the hair is definitely nice and full and okay so i was on the fence because when i seen this i was like they they out they mind they out they rabbit ass mind and thinking to send somebody two different textured um hairs like where they do that at that's not cool to do like this is how i felt about the wig i was like oh no this does not look cute at all but you know i went with it i was like okay i'm gonna just you know i'm gonna just do what i do and we just gonna see how it come out and if it don't come out good then it just don't come out good i, was like, I ain't make the damn wig but it came out great okay the lace melted the little textured hair it actually kind of is kind of like this end here it's just that this part is a little bit smoother but girl listen this definitely will get you going it's nice and full i like it i do like it not enough parting spot space i do like it it's 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 definitely there and 13 by 4 honey i told y'all they wigs be a little bit big but you know what if you got a big head then it's still gonna work out sister girl it's gonna work out for you y'all already know what to do make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs the video up share it boo boo and leave your comments down below and that's what i'm gonna see y'all i will leave all the information for west kids here in the description box below let me know what y'all thinking of this one though i'll see y'all when i see y'all Go, go, go.